Okay, so this question asks us to rearrange this bit to make it in this form here. Now, we're not going to use the bit in red um, at all in our answer. It's just there as a guide of what we're looking at getting. And this sign here just means it's completely equivalent to, so it works for any value of x. So we're going to first of all look at that and go, right, how are we going to get there? Well, this is a complete the, completing the square question. So we're going to have to complete the square to get it in that form that I've highlighted in red. Now, to complete the square, we look at this first bit here, and we go, right, how do we create that uh, in a bracket? And to create that, what we do is we put x at the start of the bracket, and we halve the number before the uh, sorry, yeah, we halve the number before the x, that 10, to make 5. Now, the problem with that is if I expanded that, so x plus 5, x plus 5 and I use FOIL or anything else to expand it, I'll get x squared plus 5x plus 5x, so plus 10x, that's great, that's what we want, but then it has plus 25. So when I expand that, it creates me a 25, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the brackets down, and then I'm going to take away 25, because it creates a 25 that I don't want. And then I'm just going to finish it off because it says plus 11. Now that is identical to the bit on the left-hand side in the question. Okay, there's no difference. We haven't changed anything. We've just had to take away 25 because that bracket creates a 25. Then we're just going to put it together. And we're going to put the minus 25 and the plus 11 together. So it makes minus 14. So our p-value is the thing inside the bracket. So x plus 5. And our Q value is the bit outside the brackets, that's minus 14.